we find in biblical facts. Number one, Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Matthew 21, 42 and 43. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the Scriptures, The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. In this verse we see that the Lord Jesus Christ was prophesying about the literal nation of Israel and how the kingdom of heaven would be taken from them. According to these verses, they are correct. However, who is Israel? We find in Hosea 2.23 and I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people. And they shall say, Thou art my God. The fact is that the literal nation Israel is no longer God's chosen people. They do not bring forth the fruit of loving the Son of God, who they have rejected. So they themselves are rejected by God as his nation or people, and it was given to the Gentiles, who obey the law and keep the faith of Jesus. Revelation 12, 17, Revelation 14, 12. So when was this prophetic statement fulfilled with 100% accuracy? We find in Acts 13.46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Romans 2, 28 and 29. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Romans 9, 6 and 7. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Galatians 3.29 And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. In other words, people, Christians equal Israel, and the Ten Commandments are made for Israel and all. The literal nation, Israel, has rejected the Son of God, and for this the kingdom has been taken from them. They are no longer God's chosen people. If you are claiming that you are one who serves God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Blessed Holy Spirit, then you should keep the law. The true Israel is known by their fruits. Matthew 7.16 If we love God, we will obey and keep His commandments, and love His Son. For it says in John 14.15 If ye love me, keep my commandments. And in Matthew 19.17 Thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. In other words, whoever obeys the law and keeps the faith of Jesus is the true Israel. If you reject any of the two, you are not a child of God and are going to be rejected by God in the day of judgment. We find evidence in this, Matthew 7, 22 through 23. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity.